Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches. RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2 Episode 1. Woo! Wait, I, I already messed up. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> God, this is going to be terrible. RuPaul's Drag Race. Season two, episode one. Oh, God, it's so bad. I love it. So bad. <laughs> I mean, I feel like mine is somehow still maybe better than Ru's. Hello, Govna. Is that oh, yeah. possible? Yes, it is. Yes, it <laughs> Hello, is. Hello, Govna. I will say I found myself really just starting to parrot back all of the Scottish queens. Wait, what do you mean? Parrot back? Like... Oh, like parrot. They were I'm sorry, you said yes. parrot. I thought you said pair it back. And I was like, oh. I'm sorry, what? No, no, no. Oh, parrot, love, like the bird. Love, oh, well, uh, Lawrence Chaney is officially my mom's favorite because she okay. loves Billy Connolly and um, they have the same accent. Fuck off. It's such a lovely pair of words and it's international. I don't care where you are. Get fucked. And you say, hey, fuck off. He knows exactly what you mean. Exact, he will fuck off. Off he will fuck. Oh, fuck! <laughs> At a certain point, too, in drag, the accent is a little different, and it, for me, leans more Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh my god, I am the first one. It's just like my friends list on Facebook. No one! Ah, which I love. Which I love. <laughs> Wait, but first so, things first. Yes. Shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off. Oops, I really can't do that in, the, in this series. Or you really can. Or I really can. You get $22 off your first month of wine. Second thing, second, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month more gets the early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. We've got more uh, comments about how we should skip uh, 13 and do UK instead, then I can count. Everyone said mm -hmm. it was more fun. Everyone said we should do it instead. And we took their advice. And you know what? I'm happy with our decision because I had a great time watching this episode. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Good. 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 Oh my God. I really do have so much more fun with this season already. It was just like, the drag race that I love. Oh, we didn't change the things about the show that were fun. And so therefore I enjoy it. Well, I mean, right off the bat, we get a mini challenge that's embarrassing. We get the no. Brit crew that's hot. You love balls, don't you? Not these fucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> where balls fly at your face. Oh my God, where balls fly at my nose. There, there goes, goes your, your social life. Career. There goes your drag race career. And this was very telling. Do you make your own costumes? Absolutely. If it doesn't look cheap and homemade, it's not drag. Exactly. Like, yeah. there was so much more personality in all these different looks. And in the confessionals, oh my God. It was like it wasn't watered down. Like, they were allowed to be as yep. wacky, 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 schmacky as they wanted to be. Like, I, don't, I honestly don't think a queen like Ginny Lemon would get cast on Drag Race US. No. You know, and I'm and, obsessed with her. And if she her. did, she would be like the obsessed with her. And if she did, it would be like the one wacky, you know, oh, like, I don't know if Tammy Brown would get cast in these current seasons. I don't think so. And I fucking love Tammy Brown. <laughs> love Tammy Brown. Gave us some iconic moments. Multiple iconic moments. Multiple. Yeah. And she was only on two episodes. Well, three if you count. <laughs> Uh, All Stars One, or I don't, I don't remember how right, long she lasted yeah. on All Stars One, but anyway. But yes, uh, we've pivoted, and here we are to talk about UK season two, episode one. Very excited, first into the yeah. workroom, Lawrence Cheney, the first oh Scottish God. queen. I guess technically the first because she walked in first. Cause, sure. Because Ellie Diamond right, is right. also from Scotland. Also from Scotland, and they are on the same season, so it's yes. Yeah. But yeah. Whatever. Lawrence walks in in this like oh head to toe print, almost like coach. Uh, but cheap, like a coach silk scarf, but head to toe, purple gold, with this poofed, like, hair netted, that, that little poof, that little, like, curly hair net yeah. poof. It was like the, the babysitter in, in Chipmunk Adventure. It was very that. I don't think I've watched Chipmunk Adventure since I was seven years old. I watched it a lot as a child. It was a very important piece of art to me. Hot air balloons, travel log, fun, catchy songs, 
Costume changes. Yeah. I mean, honestly, oh it God. has it all. Crazy, wacky, it's campy expected. villains. It has it all. <laughs> anyway. This movie has it all. <laughs> oh, boy. So the next is Cherry Valentine. I don't know why I said it like she was from New Jersey, but... It was very... Valentine. Um, Valentine. Volleyball. It, it was very yeah. volleyball. It was very that. How come Angela gets to talk to the boys all day? And we have to play volleyball. Aunt Martha's coming with Cherry Valentine? With Cherry yeah. Valentine? Yeah, it was that. It was very that. <laughs> anyway, she comes in and hits her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, and then I noticed a few other queens were really struggling. I don't know if they're just really tall or if they made this doorway too short. But I was like, that seems like Maybe a mistake for a drag queens. A combination. Like the heels, the height, the hair, the headdresses. They're like, oh, we're going to do that again. We'll do it again. And, and she like limbos under like. Ha, ha, yeah. Ha. <laughs> In this, oh my God, this like Argentine tango stigmata look. Ooh, I was yeah. into it. Yeah. <laughs> With these big Coco Montrese. Uh, lip syncing sleeves. Mm. I like this. I thought this yeah. was cool. Yeah, I did too. I don't know if there was any look where I was like, oh girl. I think they all sold it maybe at the very least. There were certainly some looks where I was like, oh girl, but I love it because it's the worst. It, it, there was like, like, like that's what I'm saying. It's like, like there was a lot of personality in yeah. the, what is this? okay it was refreshing because like you said uh was it evie oddly that talked about the the runway of episode two season 13 and how like it's the same four designers and like can we get some new different ideas in here i'm putting it together now how sort of complacent i've become like oh well it's a lot but i did notice on episode two i mean we're not reviewing it but there was a lot of looks where i kept saying i feel like i've seen that I right. feel like I've seen a version of that. I yes. feel like I've seen something similar. Hmm. And some great looks too. But Of course. Know, there you go. And, and even those looks could be great while also being like, oh, that's very similar to the other thing that, oh, turns out that person made it as well. And that's where I think having the drag queens responsible for making more of their outfits is yes. more exciting because then you get to see who they are more. Well, and Cherry Valentine out of drag was like very Alan Cumming and I was into it. Sure. It's like the red puff into it. Any reminder of the glory that is Alan Cumming. Oh my god, there you go. So then next into the workroom, Tia Coffey. Oh my god. Who I'm kind of obsessed with, by the way. Didn't care for this look. I mean, it was fine. Obsessed with her. I don't know if the polish is there. We'll see. I'm, I'm like, oh, you well, seem fun and I like you and you have ideas and I love that. But I don't know if you're necessarily gonna constantly be able to execute them. Oh! oh. We'll get there. I thought her runway looks were some of my favorite. We'll talk about it. This walk-in look was very simple. I mean, she's dressed like a streetwalker. It's like a cheetah band-aid dress, you know, with knee highs and like big old hair. Hair, yeah. It was, it was a, for me, the, a, a walk-in look like this is fine. It's a walk-in look, you know what I mean? I feel like this is what it used to be in the yes. early seasons. Yes. It was like, it's day drag. I'm kind of fishy. Cool. Yep. Okay, okay great. <laughs> yeah. But she, oh my God, when she was like, well, I named myself after... Tia Maori from the iconic Sister Sister and former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. I was nearly called Tamara Boutros Boutros Gali, but it didn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> ah, Tamara Boutros Boutros Gali. Oh my God. I almost prefer it just because it's so stupid. Because it's so absurd and stupid, yeah. yeah. It is funny that we have a Tia after Tia Maori and a drag queen named Sister Sister. That was strange. That is strange, huh? I wonder yet, if it's like been no the requisite time it. for the cultural impact to now be playing itself out. Sister, sister was sister, very, also very sister. important. Sister. Oh wait, I just realized this is the first time I'm wearing my Meow Meow Jujubee shirt that a fabulous fan sent us from Etsy. This is her design. Meow Meow, Love bitches. It. Meow. Meow, meow, so I'll bitches. put that up in the description because it's quite yeah. fabulous. Yes. Quite. I'm wearing a tee. Not really because of the choices, because I think they made good choices. Well, the judging. Well. Choices. Whoa. Coming in hot. Thank yeah. God Elizabeth Hurley was there to cool it down. Thank you. What was up? Oh. We will talk about it. I, we haven't even talked about Elizabeth Hurley, and I am excited. Oh my God, I'm excited. <laughs> I was like, Graham Norton, get away from Michelle. Don't sit next to her. She's obviously like, her bitchiness is bleeding into you. Go sit, sit with your other friends. 
You're getting, she's getting you in trouble in class. You guys are chatting too much. Go sit with your other friends. Opposite sides. That was wild. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. I was yeah. like. Next to the workroom, Bimini Bon Boulash, which is just really silly. I just kept on messing it up in my head and going, Bibbity Bobbity Oh, no, not that. Okay. I wish it was Bibbity Boppity Boulash. Wow. Wacky. Fun? Yes. Wow. So much going on. Uh, not my personal aesthetic, but oh boy, did I have fun yes. experiencing Bimini. Yes. It was an experience. Yes. She was giving me like Tony Collette meets Bubble from AbFab. Yes. With this like blushy pink uh, sex doll Barbie alien creature who's vegan. Who's vegan? I'm vegan. I'm vegan. Oh my God. And oh Lauren. My and me and my gals, we eat chicken nuggets together. She's a vegan. Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad this is the editing that I need. <laughs> Do you mean right? Dark Horse? <laughs> yeah, she's dark horse? vegan. I plan on being the black horse in this competition. Do you mean Dark Horse? I also could not, I still can't place it. Lawrence, in his confessional look, really looks like some cartoon or something and I just like I cannot place it. Mm. At first I thought it was like syndrome because oh. the hair was very electric but it's not quite that. It's like syndrome and Hades from Hercules sure. like or some <laughs> something. I couldn't I can't place it but like it's there and I just can't but oh obsessed with Lawrence by the way. Obsessed. I think it might take a doctor's degree like a doctorate to know the okay. different places, to know all of the different places of England, because it's insane to me that like, they'll be like, oh, I'm from Buckinghamshire, pal. They'll be like, oh, you mean blah, blah. those people? And I'm like, it's five miles away, you guys. It's literally like- Yeah, they have, you know, they have a lot of culture and I really love it. I love I that too. they're like, you don't sound like you're from yeah. that town that's five miles away from where I am. Exactly. You sound like you're from that other town shire. That, yeah. What? It really gets I me. I love it. I love it. But yeah, Bimini's confessional look is uh, memorable. Memorable. Next into the workroom, oh Ginny Lemon, who I'm obsessed with. It's head to toe monochromatic yellow look with this like gender fuck of it all with like the hairy chest and the uh, Frida Kahlo, Sasha Velour, you know, hairy eyebrow. I am so obsessed with her. Uh, yes. I love it so much. Someone sent us a side by side that really got me where it was uh, Lemon oh, and- Oh, Polly Shore from, Le from Polly Shore Tower from Goofy of Movies. Pizza. And I was like, what? Uncanny. Yeah. And I am into it. I mean, Spot that was on. like- Spot <laughs> on. <laughs> she gives me like Dudley Moore vibes. I don't know what it is. Oh. Maybe they have a similar accent, but I just kept getting like the same sense of humor or the same energy from sure. her. And yeah. it was like very Dudley Moore to me. And, and then therefore I liked her even more. You're just thinking about foul play. Just obsessed with it. I had so many things to say about Ginny. Giving me like uh, some Danny Elfman out of drag vibes as well. Shaky bitch. So then next is Ellie Diamond, the other, the, the second Scottish queen on, on Drag Race UK. Lawrence, are you okay, hon? You're not the only Scottish queen on the season now. From Dundee. From, oh my God. I was like, I thought Dundee was in Australia, but I'm sure there's also one there. There's multiple, like there's a Perth, Australia and a Perth, Scotland. Right. Um, Crocodile Dundee. So there must be, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Speaking of Australia, did you see the news? Oh, they're doing a drag race down under. I'm excited because I love Australians, love their humor, love yep. their accents. Yep. We could freely say cunt there <laughs> yeah. uh, with no persecution. <laughs> so I'm excited. I mean, oh my God, then maybe we take a break because in the same feed that I saw that they announced Down Under, I also saw that they announced casting for season 14 and I'm like, let's calm down. Yep, and also Drag Race calm Spain. And also- Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. With, with RuPaul and all of them? Not Spain, but it is a RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under. And Official. RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Uh, basically, it seems like the English language ones, I guess, 
Canada, French Canadian, I don't know. But basically, aside from Canada, <laughs> the English language ones is RuPaul's, and then the yes. the international non-English language ones, they have someone right. else host it. You know, and maybe we just stop reviewing uh, the U.S. seasons for a while and get refreshed with I this mean, international yeah. smorgasbord of talent because I had so much fun watching this and I was like so happy and refreshed because yeah. I was like wait I thought I was just like deadened inside for Drag Race <laughs> oh no it turns out I have um a bullshit drama meter yes, yes. and the producers are just like we're fucking with you we're and I'm like fuck you then yeah. get fucked I think that's really it for me too I mean I am excited to see more of season 13 because I really do enjoy the queens and I, I was finding myself yeah. as we were editing and, and talking about it and stuff, and I was like getting more excited. But UK, I'm like 10 times more excited. Anyway, Ellie Diamond comes into the workroom. <laughs> she looks kind of like Trixie Mattel in this pink dolly, hello kitty. Build a bear somehow? Cause she had that little bear that had that, maybe it was a matching outfit. What's right. that place where you go where you Build make an outfit for that? There you go, that thing, yeah. yeah. Uh, cute, well made, she yes. makes it all. Yes. I did, we'll talk about it later, think that it was kind of repetitive, like she has the exact same chapped mermaid skirt right. on. Right, right. In both looks. Sure. Um, just the, in the same episode, so I was just like, oh, okay. But like, out of drag, totally giving me Zachary Ty Bryan. Like, from Home Improvement, like the older, the oldest brother from Home Improvement. Oh. The blonde. Yes, 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 yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It took me a long time. There. I mean, I haven't you watched that there. show since, like, I don't even know one. But, no, I did have to look it up because I was like, oh, he looks like the oldest brother from, from Home Improvement, Zachary Taylor Thomas. And then I was nope. like, oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Those no. three names will really get you. Next into the workroom, Sister, Sister. I always want to sing it. Yeah, Sister, Sister. sister. <laughs> is it Sister, comma, Sister? Or is it just Sister, Sister? I don't know. With this um, blue glitter. Well, there's like a mask and then removes it for the, the Well, no, she's, oh, she's the purse. holding her pur her little purse in Which front of her Which we see a mouth. lot of. This Ooh. purse got a lot of screen time. It got a lot of screen time. <laughs> well, I don't know what all the fuss is about. It doesn't look any bigger than the Mauritania. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything, babe? But yes, and then removes the purse to this, this Smurf face. I mean, that was a funny joke. She was. She went down on that Smurf, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not wrong. Love it. Or Blue Man Group. But that maybe that's more of an American thing. Well, I feel like the Blue Man Group was a worldwide phenomenon in 1997. A phenomenon. Remember um, Stomp? Oh, yeah. That, talk about that was another it one was, of those. I feel like Stomp and Cats somehow fell in the right time where people yeah. were just starving yeah. for apparently anything. Anything. <laughs> Because I like went to a show like with like a family of like a friend's family. It was like, sure. oh, we got tickets. You want to go see Stomp? Stomp? Yeah, yeah, I do. Also, on this topic, we have to watch Bootman, the Australian movie with the guy from Coyote Ugly. Oh. Because it, it that should be in summer camp. Putting it on the list. Bootman, cool. summer camp. It's happening. Love I'm excited. It. What were we talking about? Sister, sister, with her blue mouth. Next into the workroom, sister, sister. That's right. In this Betty Page huge like yep. pinup wig and this dress. It looked like very um, you know, UK season one with um, Scaredy Cat who had that cat collar. Oh, that you were like, obsessed with? It. Yes. Like, it was, like, yeah. And I was so obsessed with it. And then that led me to Miss Patina, which is this like UK brand that does like vintage inspired clothing and stuff like that. Oh, fun. This dress felt very that vintage inspired vibe. Yeah, sure. I get that. Into it. Mm -hmm. It was cute. Mm -hmm. So then next into the workroom is Tace in the confessional yeah. look. Reminds me of Powerline. Oh my god! I mean, love that. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> also, a little bit of zoom, zoom, zoom uh, from Xenon. What's his name? Um, oh. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. My supernova girl. I think this is just a sign that we have to watch it. But uh... <laughs> I will watch it if we can also watch Suzy Q. That is Absolutely. the deal. I love Suzy Q. Absolutely. Yes, well, apropos, uh, Tace walked in and I said, oh, bitch, she looks like Naomi Campbell. And then uh, that was even more appropriate than I realized at the time. <laughs> in this big, oversized, chunky 
trench coat with like all this black and white kind of yeah. like graffiti on it. it says her name on the back this weave down to her ass all the attitude she's from wales which i mean they've got right. talk about like fun a fun way of talking poppity ping microwave Sai snag sausage skladion i forgot what that is well she gave us a taste of like oh the 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 two she bits was like gobbledygook a... gibberish ah yeah. oh, that means this and i was like what <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck. Ah, that means sausage. I was like, what? What? Engelbert Humptyback, Zingelbert Bengeldack, Engelbert Humperdinck, Wingelbert Wingledack. Oh boy, so then next into the workroom, Joe Black as oh. Yzma, Gloria Swanson. Uh, <laughs> Gloria obsessed Swanson. with this. Gloria fucking Swanson! It was oh also God. very Wayland Flowers and Madam, like she was Madam. It was also very that. There was a lot going on. A lot. I loved this. It was wacky and I loved it. Out of drag, she looks like Glenn Close. Oh, I was gonna say she looks like Terrence Stamp. Oh. From Priscilla. It was sure. very that to me. So next to the workroom is Veronica Green, and she seems not as exciting or wacky perhaps as some of the others, but I think right. we need that balance, yes. right? I mean, this was very like back of the drawer Barbie, you know, like, oh, it's those 80s Barbie clothes that you haven't played with in a while. It looks like that. And sure. she's got Alyssa's, you know, wig on. I really like her confessional because she seems very un uh, self conscious. She's just. Yes. I'm not used to having balls in my face. Well, it depends what. <laughs> you're, you're trying to trap me right now. You're trying to get me to say something naughty. You know, she's just like <laughs> yeah. very that. And I'm talking about sex. <laughs> I was like, Ooh, oh. you know. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Next into the workroom, Estina Mandela. And again, I was like, oh my God, this Naomi Campbell, fierce, fucking fishy as fuck. This vest, floor length trench coat. Yes, please. I was <laughs> very much into it. All the attitude. Oh my God. She seems a little too cocky. We'll find out. I'm rude. I'm rowdy. And I'm disrespectful. But you know what? I'm here for it. We'll find the out. The judges seem to like that. I mean, not well, that they don't, but just they seem to feed into her ego exactly the way she wanted them to. Yes. Let's just say that. Well, we'll see how she performs in a challenge that, I mean, apparently, according to her, nothing is outside of her comfort zone. She's great at everything ever. Everything. But we'll see. We'll see. You never know. I'm not mad about it. No. But I'm like, okay, bitch, you yeah. seem like you are okay. I mean, you name me someone else that can, you know, sing in eight octaves and... Tell me anybody else who could do that all while doing the splits. Tell me anybody else who has 15 years of experience of directing production shows. I don't, I don't think. think. It so, was very that. And, and Davina DeCampo backed it up. So, we'll see. So, last into the workroom, Ahura, which she had a whole explanation of how she got there. Her her boy name is George, right. and in Spanish Jorge. it's Jorge, so she became a Hora. Hora, because, you know, sluttier. Sure, love it, fun. Uh, Andorra. I'm just going to call her Andorra. Andorra. <laughs> <laughs> she came out in a caftan instead of, <sighs> I mean, this <sighs> Dorothy with a basket, she tosses the basket. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. It was, and then you just saw it, like, lying there. It, as, like... It took like just long enough that it was a comedy beat for it to fall. There really is no place like home. Okay. Uh, which made me laugh. I think they could have put in a little like arf arf noise or something. Not like a sad whimpering dog noise. Got gotcha. you. You know, burp, burp. Yeah, burp, burp. <laughs> Or if she had thrown it and then it just never came down. Or yes. <laughs> like. Or if she had thrown it. And then there was a, a pottery smash noise. There really is no place like home. Okay. Oh. <laughs> then Love that. maybe my head would have, we would have just like, <laughs> we are the matrix, it's all happening. It's, yes. you know, connected, all of the above. Yeah. yeah, you know, this like slutty Dorothy Bratz doll look. It looked very well made. I wasn't like, um, oh wow, I've never seen that before. You sure. know, but she, like her wig was fun. She's got these big ringlets. Yeah. She looks out of drag uh, in the confessional. She looks like, some combination of Adore and Miley Cyrus. Yep. Had a lot of fun with these confessional looks. I mean. They were almost as exciting as the drag looks, which is shocking, but I right? was here for it. Yeah. So, quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the mini challenge, Wimbledon. It's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the Brit crew walks in. Yeah. Oh, bah, bah, bah. The, it was funny, the black pit crewer was like really hamming it yes. up in all the photos and was yeah. like, Yes. Oh, you want me to do this? Oh, I can do this and I can do this and do this. And the other guy was very like, I'm here. 
I'm sorry. It's just like there was one. I think whoever like laid on the floor with them, like you yes. know, doing that. Yeah. And it was like the one guy was like, ding, and the she was like, ding, and the other guy was like, I'm here. <laughs> sorry about the shade, but his abs looked great. It's very much like the difference between like Bryce and Jason on the U.S. seasons, where yeah. Bryce is like trying his best, but he's like a little awkward and fun. And, and Jason's always Jason's just like. like Oh, you want me to do this? Yeah! You know, like, I'll do it all. I'm down to clown. I'm here. Yeah. So Rue comes in, hello, governor, and introduces that the mini challenge, that's what he says, is uh, <laughs> do a photo shoot with some hunky photographer, and it's Wimbled Hun, and they this have to- This is all I want. I, it's all not I that want. hard. This is Literally all I want. throw things at drag queens and make them try and throw... take a picture. Hello, with a hunky photographer. Yes! Yes! Please! It can't be that expensive. What is the problem? Right? Why not just keep it simple? Oh, you had to you had to keep it cool under pressure. Use these hot men in speedos as props. Great. I thought it was interesting, and maybe that's because of this cast in particular, etc. But I found it funny that I would say seventy percent of the cast did like silly, funny pictures. And not like, yeah. ooh, model pose pictures. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of comedy queens. There's a lot right. of big characters on this yes. cast. Tia was getting all those balls stuck in her wig. Oh my god, oh. wig! <laughs> and then they started throwing like giant oversized tennis balls at them. Oh! oh! It's really not that hard. Take Nickelodeon's format, gack them, and um, it's hilarious. I love it. I would kind of be here for that. Like, you got slimed. Photo shoot? Drag queen double dare? Uh, yes. And also drag queen, um, uh, do, 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 Olmec, um. Legends of the <laughs> Devil! <laughs> Dress up like your favorite historical figure and then answer these questions that this giant rock face has. Where do you think Olmec is? Do you think they destroyed him or is oh, he in I... some warehouse somewhere? Oh my God. Can you I like rent him for a birthday <gasps> party? Because I am interested. Oh, I would definitely tune in to drag queens in like sexy coveralls, like having to reach their hands up that giant nose <laughs> to find the flag. Yes. yes, all of it. Yes, I would watch in a second. So anyway, um, yeah, the mini challenge. I mean, fun, silly, stupid nonsense. Lawrence Fishburne wins. Lawrence, what's their name? Lawrence Jenny. Lawrence Jenny wins. So yes, they all um, are starting to de-drag. I'm excited to see everyone getting out of drag. They all look quite different. Ginny looks the same, but everyone else looks quite different. They do a real, in retrospect, rude edit of uh, Hora being like, oh, Joe, I used to go to your shows before I even did drag. You really brought your A game. Look at all these wigs. Oh my God, you're thinking outside the box. Look at you and go home. I know. It it, it made it me sad because I was like, ooh, I want to see all of these outfits and like, I'm excited wow. for this. Yeah. I was perplexed. Uh-huh. Not particularly by the lip sync, just like, we'll get into right. it. Perplexed, nonetheless. nonetheless. And, uh, nonetheless, what did I say? No, that's, yes, I was just repeating you. Oh, I have been known to make up words and phrases. I feel like all of the Britishisms really get in there too, where you're like, wait, is that a real phrase or is that just yeah. nonsense? Oh. Is that just Welsh? <laughs> Is it Welsh or nonsense? No, I'd watch that game show. I would absolutely watch that game show. <laughs> Hosted by, oh no, I was gonna say, I feel like Jeremy Irons is, he's like from some island. He's not specifically um. Welsh. I think Michael Sheen is Welsh. Now I would definitely watch that. Yes. 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 Anyway. Anyway. Oh yes, and Lawrence uh, Cheney doesn't wanna take his makeup off and he's kind of like yeah. talking about how like, oh, it's like my armor and like I feel so much more confident in drag. And the other queens are very supportive and like all of that confidence and like everything that is you when you're in drag, you have it in you. You just have to access it. This was a really nice tragedy mirror moment where yes. it felt real and Organic. like earned. Yes. Ish. It, ish, at least, you know, it wasn't like, 
hey, we're talking about random stuff. Now talk about this horrible traumatic thing and cry on screen. It was- Oh, mama! <laughs> Ask Vivacious what her childhood was like growing up in Jamaica. And I'm all like, I don't have time. I'm trying to put my makeup on. <laughs> right. No, you have to. And I'm like, Vivacious, what was your childhood like in, in, in Jamaica? And she's like, oh, mama, it was terrible. They tried to drown me in the ocean. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, that's so awful. Oh, mama. Oh yeah, girl, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they tried to drown me. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I, it reminded me again of previous, like older seasons of Drag Race where it was like, oh, yeah. and then they just had a nice moment. And wasn't that a lovely moment of television where we talked hey. about the benefits of drag and self-esteem, etc. Moving on. So, quick commercial break and we'll be back with the runway. Category is UK Gay Icon. <laughs> I was surprised they didn't have different... Uh, like UK runway music. I'm surprised Rue hasn't released a single in the UK kind of Right, all vibe. hail the queen kind of thing. So now when mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth II passes on, mm -hmm. does that mean that the national anthem will be God Save the King? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Just wondering. I'm pretty sure. Someone could correct us, but I think so. I, I think that is accurate because it will be Charles. I feel like having a queen is just so much more fun. Oh, yeah. Fab. You know? Rue walks down the runway in this fabulous Diana Ross rainbow crimped yeah. caftan. And I was like, yeah. fuck yes. Fuck yes. And uh, like, this is a, a pride look where I'm on board. You know what I mean? Where it's like rainbow, yeah. but not tacky. It was like an ombre rainbow. Yeah. Graham Norton is here. Who yeah. I love, but I love. do think he should stop sitting next to Michelle because it's rubbing off in a bad way. And <laughs> yeah. Elizabeth Hurley, who oh. A, looks fabulous and is fabulous. Oh my God, love her. And C, looks exactly the same as Austin Powers 20 years ago. What the fuck? Do I make you horny, baby? <laughs> I realized that I want just like a bedtime audiobook of literally anything narrated by Elizabeth Hurley and Julie Andrews. Just I love it. I thought she was a really great judge yes. and had interesting and helpful things to say and was also like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? I just love everything about it. And I like your shoes. I wouldn't have wanted you slopping along in fluffy oh, slippers. I, I like those shoes. Yep. I love that she was like, huh, I disagree. And I think that the personality, you know, I was like, yes, thank you for helpful commentary. This was great. I loved her. I loved her. Category is... UK gay icon. First down the runway, Joe Black as David Bowie. I understand what they're saying. Did this immediately read David Bowie? No, but I like that he said it's how Joe Black would do David Bowie. And yes. I thought that was more interesting than some people who just dressed up in a costume. I personally really agree with that. This to me was a drag David Bowie. And specifically Joe Black version of how David Bowie made him feel or whatever, like the gender yes. bending, the yes. androgyny, all of the above. I thought the makeup was cool and the wig was really cool. I liked this. And I was confused later when Michelle was like, you should be more obvious. Is that what we want? So we can all get it. What? <laughs> What are you talking about? I almost wish it was something way more commercial, Bowie, so we all got it. We don't need her to explain it, that it's David Bowie because it's literally telling us on the TV show, this is David Bowie. Right. As long as it, when you hear, oh, David Bowie, and then you see it and you're like, oh my God, of course. Oh my God, of course. Like I see it now. Yeah. You really blended that with your own, like made a whole thing and an experience. I'm cool with that. It's not like it's a game show or like a, mi a ooh, secrets. Who is it? You know, right. like, oh, I got to guess. Right. What's my Carol line? Channing what's my isn't back here. Exactly. <laughs> we're not trying to guess. You're telling no. us. And we're yeah. like, you know, reading into that interpretation. So this was very confusing. But I liked this and I thought it was cool and it fit well. And I was confused yeah. by the joke. I didn't, I didn't think this was a bottom look. I wouldn't say it was no. the top look, but I wouldn't put it in the bottom. So then next up is Estina as Naomi Campbell, or, I mean, it, this was just as Naomi Campbell. That's an interesting, just going back to the David Bowie conversation. Like, this was just, look at me, I look like Naomi Campbell and aren't I fabulous? And you're like, yes, bitch, work this, you know, gauzy, black, tool, fabulous. I was kind of sad that, because they showed the side by side, and Naomi mm -hmm. Campbell's just nips were out for yes. the gods. And I was kind yes. of sad that that was missing, because I was like, that was kind of the most interesting part of that look for me. I was like, oh, uh -huh. shit. Yeah. I would have liked that. 
It was sort of there, but it wasn't as sheer as Naomi Campbell's was, and therefore then giving you like the nip effect. This for me would have been the perfect opportunity to, bitch, look at me, I'm Naomi Campbell. I re recreated this look exactly. I've got her attitude and then tear away. I'm a drag queen. Look at this tuck, I'm fabulous. You know, <laughs> something. Sure. It seemed primed for a tear away and that would have made it so much draggier. So I right. was like, oh, okay. So then next down the runway, Ginny Lemon as Kate Bush or Miss Lippy? I mean, I couldn't unsee it. <laughs> I was just waiting for her to like eat paste. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Obsessed. I love Ginny. I think she has so much energy and personality and is doing her own damn thing. And I'm yes. here for it. I'm along for the ride. So then next was Tia Coffee as Alan Turing. And in this like rainbow binary jumpsuit, I didn't care for this. I thought it was a stretch, I guess. Now, I mean, I guess we're going back to like, obviously she doesn't look like Alan Turing. This is an, an ode to Alan Turing. I think it was like an interesting and creative way to do Alan Turing because it's a, it's a old white guy in a suit. What are you going to do? You know? Right. Uh, right. He doesn't, he doesn't have an iconic look. She's not going to dress up like the Enigma machine. You know what I mean? So I thought there was a lot of interesting and clever ideas going on. It told me a story. You know, she had the chains on because he was imprisoned. Right. Was it a bit heavy handed? Oh, I have rainbow and binary code and it's spelling out love. I didn't mind it because of like telling the story of Alan Turing. And I was sure. like, that's cool. And she did it in a way that I thought was more creative. Because, like, honestly, how else are you going to do it? I give her A plus for creativity and, like, out-of-the-box thinking. I just yeah. don't think that it came together in a cohesive look that I appreciated, personally. Well, there you go. Oh, boy. So the next on the runway is Bimini as Princess Julia. And, I mean, I can't say that I personally have a swath of knowledge of Princess Julia, as Michelle seemed to have. But I thought this was cute. I don't know. This like tartan punk rock vibe. She had the fuzzy slippers that Michelle didn't seem to, to mind on this look. Maybe Princess Julia's obsessed with high heeled fuzzy slippers. I don't know personally, but I thought this look was good. Maybe she didn't give me enough tood with it, but um, I didn't dislike this. No, I didn't dislike this. I don't know who Princess Julia, that's the name? Yeah. I don't know who that is at all. So it was just going she by the She seems to be like um, similar to and maybe this is totally off. Party planner, ageless goddess, New York. Um, oh, Suzanne Barch. Yes. Uh, seems like maybe kind of a similar like party planner, DJ, fabulous outfit vibe. That's the sense that I got. As a look, I was like, sure, this is fun. And obviously there's a story there that I, I this, this one I just wrote off as, well, I don't know who that is, so I can't really. Yes, but it's just as a fundamental look, I didn't mind it. So then next down the runway is Lawrence Cheney as Diana Rigg, and I don't really That was know. very Billy Elliot, by the way. Billy Elliot, oh my God. I worked with a different dialect coach for six months just so I could tell the word Billy from the word Billy. I thought this look was great. I think that, as yeah. they said, she really, the polish, the fit, the styling, yep. everything was working for me, and she sold this garment on the runway, and I was like, yes, bitch, work. Sold the shit out of it, these um, ovary cutouts, and the bowler hat. I mean, do you know who Diana Rigg is in The Avengers? Okay, great. I do. I am not um, 90 years old like Graham Norton, and I, I do not. Apparently, not. apparently I am. Diana Rigg also played, um, what would you know her from? Well, no, she played the wife in um, On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Anyway, Diana Rigg's a fabulous bitch, and the cat suit was like her thing. That was like, she revolutionized it in pop culture. Um, and yes, I thought this was great and she sold the shit out of it and yeah. it fit great and I was into it. Yep. Loved it. Next down the runway was Cherry Valentine as Freddie Mercury in the Break Free music video. Now, this was right on the edge of, well, you're just wearing what he wore in the music video, but she had a bedazzled vacuum cleaner. It, there was thought put into it that it was like a little more dragged up. And you know, I, I just love Freddie Mercury to death, so I couldn't fault it in any way so oh wow okay i was just like i love this i found this to be sticky and like a fun campy halloween costume but i wasn't quite sure which i guess is fine though like that's the thing it's that's your drag that's your drag so it, show it on the runway i wouldn't have put this in the top but sure. i thought it was like super cute and she had enough details and she really sold it that it made it really fun 
Fair. But you have you seen the Break Free music video? Like, have you seen the look she's recreating? So, like, it would make more sense, I think, to you what they were poking fun at at the time in the music video. Sure. With, like, Freddie Mercury's giant mustache, but he's in drag as a housewife. Like, there's a lot of things going on in the music video that are so fun. So then next is Veronica Green as Boy George. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of my personal references of Boy George. Admittedly, are, are limited. Um... The first thing that comes to mind is Wedding Singer. Choose Life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jitterbug, right? That's the whole yeah. like. Oh my God, I'm so no. wrong. That's George Michael. I completely fucking conflated the two of them. <laughs> Did I do the same thing? No, you're talking about Alexis Arquette, who d is doing the Boy George look in Wedding yes. Singer. I completely confused two Georges. Um, cool. Excuse me. I'm yes, because George Michael is Wham. Is Wham, yes. yes. I, yeah. And also Arrested Development. George Michael? <laughs> no, nobody knew George Michael was gay. Nobody even suspected. How could they? What would lead you to the conclusion that George Michael was gay? George Michael? George Michael? Not the front man for Wham. Surely you jest. Surely you jest. <laughs> Yes, this for me was, like, all I wrote down was like, oh, she's dressed like Boy George. Yeah. And she recreated that Boy George look. And she was looked so cute and petite and wee in it. Like, you know, yeah, little Boy yes. George, oh, she's little. Yeah. Oh. So this didn't give me a lot of, like, oh, fuck, yes. Maybe it was the shoes. I know they were his, but maybe right. she put some, like, fabulous fucking heels on with it. Something. It wasn't quite different enough. It rode the line for me. It was right on the edge of just, like, oh, you dressed up like Boy George for, um, for Halloween. Which was also very the Freddie Mercury look, too. But she kind of sold it a little more for me. You don't have the same soft spot for Boy George. Obviously not, since I confused him with George Michael. Um, <laughs> but I do know Boy George is great. Boy George is great. <laughs> Next down the runway, Ahura as Vivian Westwood. And this, I mean, obviously it's less of an uphill battle to pick a fashion designer, right? And then you can kind of like use right. their aesthetic and do your own vibe with it. And I liked this and I didn't like this at the same time. Like it was really cool and also kind of messy. And the makeup was interesting, but also kind of all over the place. I liked this a lot, but I don't think it was top. Yeah, I found it to be... Maybe a little too clustered, too, too, too muddy. Well, it was like deconstructed tartan corset with then like Picasso Salvador Dali makeup and a big fabulous, you know, curly wig with a lot going on. There's a lot going on. There's a lot, a lot going, going on. on. If it had been like just a bit more tailored, just a bit, the makeup had been just a little clearer. Yeah. Uh, I think it would have been like, yeah. And it was yeah. like almost there. So the next is sister, 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 as sister. Dusty <laughs> with Dusty Springfield. And I thought this was too simple. Yeah. It reminds me almost of that felty caftan that you got from the thrift store that I wore. Yes. But that's more fabulous. Right. And I'm just like, pops more. yeah. You know, it was like a kind of a dark navy choir robe almost with right. some bejeweling on it and not enough wigs. Like she's talking in the confessional like, oh, and she would go out with no less than 10 wigs on her head or something like that. And I said, well, where are, where are all where the, the wigs? wigs? Where, where are, the, are wigs? the wigs? Where are they? Where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? This was not even costuming because I don't think, if you didn't tell me this was Dusty Springfield, if that in fact is the challenge, if it was, if it was guess oh, who this sure. is, I think I would have said, uh, church lady I, I don't know what it would, where I would have gone so yeah I I agree it was just too understated and or too simple yeah it was not ambitious yeah. enough in telling me a story so then next on the runway Ellie Diamond as Lily Savage or who Lily Savage wishes she was this was another sort of interpretation of you took it and you made it you kind sure. of vibe this like pink cheetah slutty, real housewife vibe. Her makeup really is impressive. I loved seeing the variety of the makeup, you know? Like it wasn't just like, oh, you have one thing that you do really well. It was like, oh, these are different people. Next is Tace as Naomi Campbell again. And I thought this was nice. Yeah. Again, um, I mean, not a tragedy mirror, but like whatever, there was a moment that they took to talk about, oh, you're doing Naomi Campbell? I heard she's doing Naomi Campbell. And it's like, well, girl, that's Ooh. the only person of color, queer icon that they, could think of. I thought that was nice just to have the conversation of like, well, look at the representation that we're now providing for someone else. Like, you know, very neat. Yes. 
paying it forward, yes. moving on, progress, and I'm like, yay. <gasps> One of them could have dressed like Scary Spice. Yes. Mel B. But anyway, they could have uh, done that. But, yeah. but that's neither here nor there. They both no. wanted to do Naomi Campbell. She's they fabulous. Both it. She deserves two runways, honestly. I thought Tace stomped this motherfucking runway yeah. and really gave me the attitude yeah. and the low look. You know, red, very 90s Naomi Campbell supermodel to me. It wasn't the most memorable, uh, but right. her attitude and her walk, I was like, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Oh, bitch. So, quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the second runway, Queen of Your Hometown. I like that they do this. I do, too. We'll talk about the judging. Yes. <laughs> so, category is Queen of Your Hometown. First up is Joe Black and Brighton and the Brighton Pavilion, which I don't think I'm familiar I with. I just always... I'm not familiar with, but I always think of Lydia from Pride and Prejudice. I want to go to Brighton! <laughs> <laughs> Like seaside, I think. Oh. I think it's in the seaside. It's like I the, think you're right. The by the sea. Do, da, do, da, 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 da. I think I think that is my my, my understanding of it. But anyway. Right. Anyway, this apparently was all wrong. <laughs> yes, apparently this was it was the wrong color, it was the wrong era. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was like, oh my god, oh. this was um okay. <laughs> I okay. did actually I, I mean, thought that Elizabeth Hurley's point of the era was probably the best feedback of this is wrong. Yes. You know, like she was like, well, yes. this is not really making sense overall. Is it gold instead of white? Who cares? But Who cares? That's draggier. I always thought that the pavilion was more of a Regency period, which, you know, was sort of more heaving bosoms and muslin dresses. But I thought you were great. I still liked it. I was like, yeah, this is not the worst. Right. Elizabeth Hurley was still like, I love this. It just yeah. doesn't look like that building at all. Right. <laughs> I was like, that's fine. She was wearing a very Elizabethan queen, high collared, yes. you know, yes. overly embellished look. So that was helpful feedback, yeah. I yes. thought. Michelle was just like, oh, well, I don't know what this building is and you should have told me better because I'm a dumb American. I was very confused. I was like, it's just not her job to educate you on the architecture. I'm like, what? <laughs> Right? Go take an architectural tour. What the fuck? Um, yeah, I agree. I think w I remember this frustration last season. Fuck this pink hat. Well, yeah, fuck this God. pink hat. Oh. <laughs> fuck this pink hat. And and the um, queen would never wear that hat ever. ever. Okay, let's calm <laughs> oh, down. Maybe right? we calm down a little. And Davina DeCampo had Yorkshire. And I feel like she almost got sent home or something. It was like a similarly- Right, she had like trumpet tips, trumpet. I think, and it was fab. <laughs> yes, and I was like, why, how can we in any way judge trumpet tits negatively? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Did you tell me a story? Did you give me a vibe? Do you look cute or interesting? You know, judge her on the look, not your ignorance of the, reg of the region. Oh my God, when oh. she was like, you should have picked a David Bowie so we could all understand it. Go what? Get out of here. No. Yeah. Next down the runway, Estina representing East London in, um, she looked fucking fishy as fuck. I really liked this look. It was in some ways like, oh, this is just streetwear. You just kind of dressed up like a girl from here which is totally a valid and different way to interpret this challenge. Is it a little less exciting, but still like, yes! You know, those legs, my my God. Um, oh my God, my God. I loved the wig with all the little, uh, the little um, yep, metal jeweled. rings in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she told a story, she had the chicken, you know. I don't think I would have had her win this episode. Right. Um, and that's why I'm kind of judging her a little harsher. But I thought she was great. Yeah, I, that's right. I forgot that she won. Because I was like, I, I, top three I agreed with. I was a little surprised that that was how it went. But yeah, I think their criticisms of like, she's wearing an ASOS jacket and whatever. I was like, who cares? Like she put together a look. And like when you think Cheryl Hole did Essex, women or whatever, right? And she right. basically dressed like someone from Essex. Oh, she's from Essex. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I still don't really know what that means, but that's okay. So then next is Ginny Lemon from Worcestershire. That's how you say it, I think. Worcestershire, like the sauce, right? 
yes, but I will not attempt because I, I, I end up, it's, um, it's not good when I try and say it. So yes, it is like the sauce. Worcestershire, sure. right? And it's, it, this is what, like, I think one of the best examples of the English language where you're just like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You just dropped 18 letters and you're trying to give the French shit about dropping things? What are we talking about? But anyway, <laughs> she comes out in this like orange look. It says, keep it saucy or get saucy or stay saucy or something feel, saucy. Feel in saucy, I think. Feel, it's feel saucy. in saucy. Well, yeah, so she talks about, I looked this up because I was like, oh, what does that mean? I am paying tribute to the very first drag king of all, Vesta Tilly. Who? Back in, you know, the olden days, old timey, she was on the London stage as like a huge popular drag king, a la like Victor Victoria. It was very, I looked up pictures, it was very like Colette um, with like the fitted suits. And I was just like, yes, yes, yes. And then I was like, thank you, Ginny Lemon, even though I prefer my gin with a lime, thank you for sharing this with me because that was awesome. And I went down a little rabbit hole and I was like, yes, bitch. So that. that was cool. But also she very much looked like Elton John. <laughs> like, oh, Elton John came out to, oh no, she wasn't oh. doing Elton John. Cause like, again, a gay, uh, you know, UK icon, of course. I was surprised right. no one did Elton John. But, but that um, was, but no. that was gay UK icon. This is hometown. Of course, that's right. <laughs> but, but no one did Elton John. No, the no one icon. did. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe she was trying to fit them all in one category. Then next on the runway, Tia Coffey from Nottingham. This I thought was the more successful of the two Robin Hood looks. Um, yes. It was very uh, Glynis Johns in Courtchester. Yes. I was into it with this big yeah. hood. She looked like, you know, eight feet tall. And you know what else? I'm serving you a lot of leg. You're welcome. I was yep. into this. I thought she looked really polished and it was sort of like a slightly less costumey or rather like a more Ren Faire costume version of Robin Hood instead of like Tinkerbell Robin Hood. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, that's Robin Hood costumey, but good. It's a good one. Like, you, you know, sure. But yes, you could just be at Disneyland or something. I don't know. It was like, you know, Still a costume. I thought this was at the higher end of the costume looks. Yes. I liked this. Oh my God. So the next is Bimini from Norwich. And I mean, this <laughs> Borat. Singlet, one piece soccer jersey stripper. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean. I, I think I loved this. And especially like when she was like, this is what I wanted to go to the soccer games wearing. <laughs> I was just like, I want that movie. Like, where is that cute yes. British movie about like the boy who then just decides to fuck it all and wears this slutty little weird one piece soccer yes. thing. Yes, it was unforgettable. I it mean, really yes, was. you could see her, her tuck tape, but- How else do you do that? I guess she could have put tights on? Ask Trinity, I don't know. Right. Oh no, don't ask Trinity. Oh. <laughs> oh, the Franken? No, no, not that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if, if tuck tape is worthy of being in the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Honestly, I was glad because I was like, do I want to see her lip sync in this motherfucking outfit? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. When she was like, oh my God, how am I going to lip sync in these? I was like, you're going to turn it the fuck out, bitch. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> and she did. Next down the runway, Lawrence Cheney from Glasgow. From Glasgow? How do you Glasgow. say it? <laughs> Glasgow. Glasgow. Wow. How are you saying it? Glasgow. Glasgow. <laughs> it was very like the stained glass at the beginning of Beauty and the Beast with the yes. rose. Also kind of Mondrian-esque though too. I felt like with the shapes and the a yeah, little more geometric. Yeah, and it had like a color blocking mod vibe to it. The yes. fit was on point. She was having fun on the runway. I thought this was yeah. great. And I kind of thought she was going to win the episode. She I won thought the she should have won the episode. Both her looks were fucking fabulous. She yep. was making the judges crack the fuck up in her yep. back and yep. forth. I thought I was, she should have won. I was rooting for her. Yeah, me yeah. too. We were all rooting for you. I was rooting for us. So the next is Cherry Valentine from, from Darlington. I don't know where that is either, but Cherry comes out and I at first thought she was doing step in time because she looked like a- Step in time. Yeah, it step was, in time. Step she in like time, the, step in time. Right, 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 right. She has a clock yeah. and I was like, oh, is that supposed to be the time for, for step in time? And like, 
Big Ben. Wow, you really went and there. I love chimney it. Chimney sweeps. And I, I didn't know. I was just so, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, oh, oh, no, it's not. Oh, that's, oh, 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 oh no. Oh, I was no. just way off. No. I was way off. I mean, you know, not, she was doing that era, let's say, of like, sure. you know, fossil fuels, et cetera, all of that kind of stuff. So next down the runway is Veronica Green from Lincolnshire, Lincoln, Lincolnshire, Lincoln, Lincolnshire. Damn it. Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire, from Lincolnshire, Veronica Green from Lincolnshire. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. In, uh, you know, a very beautiful uh, ball gown, uh, velvet, huge, you know, very um, impressive and very impactful. You can't forget it. Do I recall, she said something about the hills and I oh. went north and then I went south and the roses in my hair represent, there was like a long story that I lost yeah. track of. My roots are in the north, but now I've gone south. You would have to be told that that was the concept to get it. <laughs> like they didn't give her any, like, well, what does this mean about Lincoln, Lincolnshire? Lincolnshire? Yeah, I have no idea. And, and that's interesting too, right? Where like, I literally have no idea, even despite her, her whole ramblings, I have no idea what this means about Lincolnshire. I don't know anything about Lincolnshire. I don't know if we're saying Lincolnshire properly, but... <laughs> Lincolnshire. 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 <laughs> Summer Donna. Keep going. Summer Donna. Summer Donna, that's right. Summer Donna, that's it. Now get it. Summer Donna. Summer Donna. But she does. She did look really beautiful, and it was like, oh shit, like, ooh, she came out, and it was like silhouette. Yes, bitch. Huge hoop. I loved it. But yes. also, I didn't get it. It could be me, all of those things at once. Yeah. Yes. Oh boy. So the next was a horror from Nottingham, and this was Tinker Bell, Robin Hood. I was confused. This was I, like. Full Halloween costume for me. Yeah. The fabric was wrong. The, this this was like um, similar-ish to her Dorothy look where I was like, you just took something and made it slutty. That's fine. Because she says like, oh, I'm a costume designer. I do this. People buy my sure. stuff. That's fine. Yeah. That's fab. But this was very like, oh, are you going to like, I guess not WeHo. I don't know what the equivalent, the WeHo equivalent of uh, the UK is. I'm originally from Essex, but I now live in Clapham. What's Clapham? Clapham's just really gay. There's lots of gays oh, in Clapham. Fabulous. Oh, it's just very gay. Yeah. It's just very gay. <laughs> yeah. So that place, wherever yeah. that place was. Wherever that was. No, I don't know because I haven't really been to London of like drinking age, you know, out in proud gay self. So. Um, I mean, I've been to Heathrow. Since exactly. Like that's, I've, but I've, not, um, but yes, not like yeah. in, yeah. We should so, go. Hey, let's yeah. go. After, after we just when gotta we get can. that. Just got to get that teleporter working. Um, just going to work on that. Well, I, I also then... think there need to be like gay clubs that we could go to. Oh, sure. If we're, sure, if we're talking about a boys town, like you kind of have to have it open again. But yes, when it is, well, I love that. we can go and it'll be fun. We can make Lee Dawson take us to Boys around. town. Because <laughs> yeah. like it, you know, it's like uh, that Spencer Tracy movie, Boys Town, about the priest and the boys. Not in a bad way, just in the... Anyway, You've never move heard of Town before? Oh, my God. No, just in the context of the Spencer Tracy film. Oh, interesting. But I can put two and two together. Yeah, I, I figured you could. So the next is Sister, 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 Sister from Liverpool. She said that it's, it's, it is a known fact that um, housewives in the area will go to the store fully, like, right. in pajamas, like, with no shame whatsoever, and just be like, yes. yes. Right. I liked this. It was, like, a fun sleepover look. I didn't dislike this, but, you know. I didn't love it. I felt like the fit could have been, like, more Something. tailored. Put, like, a, put a cute um, silk pink scarf wrapped around those rollers, and, yes. like, there could have been just a few little things. I think the problem is just like the idea of that is fun. Yes. Ooh, like all these housewives go out in their pajamas essentially to go to the store and they don't give a fuck and whatever. But you have to dragify that and make it fabulous still. Right. And instead it yeah. still just kind of looks schlubby. If you take the idea, but you have a satin corset pajamas or something right. and you're like, ooh, look at me, I'm sexy AF, but I'm in my pajamas because that's, I'm going to the, the Tesco store. Sure. I get it. Well, and so Michelle is like, come on, you should have been wearing pink fuzzy slippers. What are you doing? Fuck these, fuck this pink hat. Fuck these pink shoes. Like it was very that. And Elizabeth Hurley was like, I don't want her sloshing around in fucking slippers. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And I was like, she should have fuzzied up the high heels. Like exactly. that's a fun, 
Like, yes. I'm wearing fuzzy slippers, but they're like six inch heels. Exactly. That's oh. funny. So then next on the runway, Ellie Diamond as Dennis the Menace. This was so cute. This Loved like this. pin up Dennis yep. the Menace. I did think like, I was like, oh, you already wore this Silhouette. skirt. Like it was very, it was very the same. And so I was like, oh, just, I'm going to keep an eye on it. You know, if you're, if all you're doing is wearing chapped uh, mermaid skirts, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's all I'll say. But it fit great with the with the stripes and the little dog and no. i thought this was really cute and like a drag version of the thing yep. she was doing yep. which i think personally is what i think fits the challenge best but you know it's up to interpretation so then last on the runway was tace from newport this like dragony corset fire cool i was kind of obsessed and then she had these krampus horns and i was yes. like Yes. Yes. I was into this. I was a little surprised she wasn't in the top, I'll be honest, slightly. Just because she had so much tood, and yeah. then we get to pit the two Naomi Campbells together, and that's fun for stupid, you know, sure. judging nonsense. Sure. Well, that's your true. Naomi Campbell, well, this Naomi Campbell. But anyway, I, mean, I really yeah. like this. I thought the, these horns really made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> really I stupid. think for me, the only thing that I didn't love was how broad the dragon corset was it was very just like and here's a big round thing which i get kind well, of you have to do but it kind of looked like a shield which yes. maybe was the point maybe that was the point i don't know that's fair like that was yes that it did look like a shield a welsh dragon shield that feels like it's a thing we'll never know we'll have to ask lee yeah we'll get him on later in the season he can <laughs> explain it all exactly. tell us how to pronounce lancashire and <laughs> it'll be great <laughs> Write that one great. down. Welsh dragon shield, question mark? Yeah. So, yes, the safe queens go back. Ahura seems like she's going to be a real shit-stirring bitch. I'm here for it. I, I I said to everyone, I said I thought Astina and you was in the bottom. Good to know. I think you were supposed to be in the bottom, Tia, as they sit next to each other in, like, decidedly different and better and worse Robin Hood outfits. I, it was, um, I it mean... was just funny to me. It was just yep. funny to me. yep. Oh, and I love, they were all giving um, Astina, they're like, oh, she was just wearing an Aesop's jacket. Blah, blah, blah. Right. We hate her. Blah, blah, blah. And then Ginny was just like, I think you're all jealous because she's fucking fierce as fuck. And I was like, yes, bitch. I agree with you. I just think you're all a bit scared of her, to be honest, because she's pure talent. I don't think Astina's going to give a shit. Like, if they told her, she'd be like, bitch, I won. Yeah. Girls, just step your pussy up. Yeah, just well, do it. So... There's that. Um, but yeah, we go back to the judging and Michelle is like, be more obvious. I didn't understand the reference. I'm being a bitch and I didn't care for it. And Graham was also kind of agreeing with her and I was like, no, no, no. no but then no. I love that Elizabeth Berkeley was just like, I think you all are being very harsh. I think you're very harsh. Who <laughs> now? Did I say Berkeley? Ah! I wish. I wish. Oh my God. Can we have no. like a showgirls rusical and have Elizabeth Berkeley on? Yes. Fuck yes. And, but Gina, but Gina Gershon. <gasps> but Gina Gershon. We haven't talked about this on camera, how we've sort of decided that you're probably on Fabulous Cunt Island if yeah. a la Olivia Coleman's acceptance Oscar speech and uh, Lady Gaga. Um, Lady Gaga. <sighs> if you can end that sentence, you're probably like, and uh, Gina Gershon, like you're probably <laughs> on Fabulous Cunt Island. That's a good litmus Glenn test. Glenn Close. Yeah, yeah. And Christine Baranski. <laughs> Absolutely. And Diane Weist. Sorry, it just keeps coming. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Love and it. Grace Jones. Oh. oh. Now, they could have done Grace Jones. No, she's from... She's Jamaican. Um, oh, so never mind. I'm sorry. I apologize. Never mind. Jamaica has is a British colony, so there's that. Like, they there you go. learn English hey. from... Hey, I learned something today. Isn't that great? And I'm not judging queens for my lack of... Uh, my ignorance on the subject. I'm only... <laughs> making fun oh, of myself. That was yeah. way harsh, Ty. I know the pavilion, but I don't know it enough to go, oh, that's the pavilion. So sometimes, don't overthink it. So anyway, Elizabeth Hurley is like, yes. I think you guys are being very harsh. Because <laughs> she had positive and constructive things to say to everyone. I and yep. I loved it. And I was like, yep. bring her back, she's fabulous. Great bum. I said to Ruth, I find her quite sexy. Uh, Estita wins and Joe Black and Bimini are in the bottom. Now, I kind of got Bimini, I guess, because she was 
I guess you could say less polished or whatever, but I really thought Sister Sister was gonna be down there. Yeah. I like her, but I just, that's where I thought it was going. But this lip sync, um, yes. So they have to lip sync to Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood, which okay. of course always reminds me of Zoolander. Of course. And I was so incredibly excited to watch Bimini lip sync in this outfit and she did not disappoint. But also I thought Joe Black was killing it in the face. Yes. Killing it. Oh. Now, it's hard to compete with a, a singlet, 10-inch uh, heel, uh, <laughs> humping the floor, split stripper. It's hard. And you're, you're covered up like in the most, right. all of the right. fabric. She's wearing right. all of the fabric all. and Bimini is wearing none of it. No. And so it was hard. I thought she was going to start tearing away at it. Oh, I know, right? Yes, do it. Uh, I love that. Don't say this is your most revealing outfit. Oh, it's it's not. Okay. Oh, it's not. <laughs> this is actually probably my most revealing outfit. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> it's not my most revealing outfit. <laughs> but yeah, no, I thought that Joe was killing the lip sync. I was like, oh, this is a real tough one. And then oh, I don't know what happened. What was this? Ala Austin Powers. It was almost like when she started to... The elevator pantomime I was, and stopped lip syncing. I was like, wait. I know what? I'll take the elevator. <laughs> what happened? Also, I think this is maybe the first time I ever listened to this lyrics. And is this song just about like orgasm control? I literally listened to the lyrics for like maybe the first time ever. And it was like, relax, don't do it when you're going to come to yeah. it. When you're going to come. Yeah. And I was like, oh, is yes, this? Yes, then yes. But I don't know what that has to do with elevator pantomime. No, that's what I just was she like, what doing, are we pantomiming? She starts doing like, the canoe, yeah, you know, right. behind the couch Ooh. and stuff. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> was that for Elizabeth Hurley specifically? I if so, kind of love it, but also keep lip syncing. Like she had exactly. stopped lip syncing at she, that point and it was yeah. confusing. And then maybe started lip syncing something else. And I was like, is she trying to tell us something? Blink twice if you're in trouble. Like, what's going on? Are you okay? So that was where I really was like, oh no, and then you just lost it. Oh girl. I mean, I think they were both very good, but I think Bimini ultimately won. She was like pole dancing. Once she got on her knees off of the heels, I was like, oh no, she can't get back up. She's just gonna have to do the rest of the lip sync on the floor, but then she managed. So I was sad to see Joe go home so soon because it seems like they were telling us she was a legend and she yeah. came in dressed like Glenn Close Yzma, which is really on brand for us. So uh, I was um, sad. Uh, yeah. You know, fuck this gold dress, apparently. Well, yeah, fuck this God. pink hat. Fuck this gold dress. So excited for the season. I'm yes. really excited for next week, which is Rats the Musical. I'm excited. It's going to be bonkers. I better, I hope. Oh, it's going to be fully bonkers. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> there will be Andrew Lloyd Webber jokes. I can't wait. Lancashire. Lancashire. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Get out of here. Cheers to the season. Yes. I hope everyone is excited as we are that we've uh, pivoted and um, can't wait. Really excited. Can't wait. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Pivot. <laughs> 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 <laughs>